All right, welcome to another video with Blocks Builder. And in this video, we're going to be looking at menus. So let's build. Right, in my uh, example project here, I have a basic menu along the top with home, services, products, and I've got a list of drop down items product one, two, and three. Pretty exciting naming. And contact. And um, this video is actually inspired by a question on the forum regarding drop down menus and how to style them when moving to a toggle menu or a mobile menu. So let me try and explain this a bit better. So we have our drop down menu here in our, our large view. If I shrink this view down to where the toggle engages and I have this uh, toggle happening on a medium breakpoint, we'll see in our menu here home services products contact and we have our drop down here in our mobile menu so the question was how in the mobile menu to have the drop down um, trigger here the drop down menu item um, not be visible and so our menu would look like home services product one two three and then contact and we can actually do this quite easily with just three classes and that's what we're going to do today so I'm going to come back to my project and everything we're going to do is on the medium breakpoint uh, as I mentioned this is where I've set my toggle to um, activate if you've got your menu toggling at another breakpoint you'll want to work from that breakpoint on the canvas so we're going to with our medium breakpoint selected I'm going to open the class editor and I'm going to create a new class now uh, we're just going to use three simple classes and I'm not even really creating a new class these are three classes that bootstrap is already being uh, is already using in our menu system that blocks is that blocks is using so the first class we're going to work with is called drop down toggle now when I create this class this class is actually going to affect the the drop down menu item so let me show what we're going to do if we open up our drop down toggle menu while well, we're in the medium breakpoint and we select uh, select our positioning tab on down bottom here under display we're going to set that to none that's right just to none now if we go and have a preview of what this looks like and let's go to our larger breakpoint so we have our our um, drop down menu item and then we have our drop down items here and if i come to our toggle point we'll find that our products is now gone our drop down menu item is now disappeared and that's the effect that we've been looking for right well we do have a problem though is that we want our drop down items to now be visible so we've hidden our menu item and now we want to make these products visible and so we're going to do that with another class so I'm going to come back to my medium breakpoint and this class is going to be called drop down let me spell that right drop down menu and in this one while we're in our medium breakpoint I'm going to set our display to block so our positioning tab display and set that to block okay uh, let's have a look we'll go to our larger breakpoint so we've got our drop down menu our toggle point and now we have our home our services our products one two three and contact right what we want to do now is remove this border and change um, the hover effect is I don't know if you can see it on the screen there it's got by default a bit of a, a light gray background on hover um, and so we're not going to go into too much detail with styling the menu here because really that's going to be based on your design so uh, we'll go back to our design mode actually we want our medium breakpoint again and we're going to bring our drop down menu class back up and we're going to set our border using uh, the second tab which has margins paddings and border on it we're just going to set the width of that border to zero and that'll remove our border and one of the other things you might have noticed if we go and have a look here 
now our border's gone, is that because these are list items in the menu, is that our list items, our product items, are way over to the right. And we can actually fix that by using the drop down menu class again and adding margin left. And I know from experience that the default we need to move this from is um, minus 25 margin. So let's go and do that. Our drop down menu, make sure that we're in our median breakpoint. I'm gonna select our left margin and I'm gonna give that a margin of 25 minus 25 pixels. Let's have a look. Right, that's lined it up. Now we want to space these out a little bit better and we want to affect our styling of these class items, which is actually just one more class. And this is the last class we'll be working with today. So I'm going to call this class uh, drop down hyphen item. And we're still in our median breakpoint. I'm going to bring that class up and um, I'm just going to change the height here I think about 40 pixels probably match it and I'm also I'm going to select uh, the hover state and I'm going to change the background to white just to match our background and of course all this will change depending on how you're styling your menus to suit your site let's have a look now preview there we go Still a little bit of work to do to style this and uh, make it nice, but basically that's what we have here. We've now seen our home services, product one, two, three, and contact. And if we come to our larger site, we get our products and our drop down menu items. Toggle point. See how they change. Awesome. Okay, that's that for this video. Um, hopefully that was helpful for you. Okay, take care.